Hi everyone, we've got another update today and I'm hoping this will fix the auto park problem that you will see in the previous video and we will get that done. What's interesting is on the new app that we've got, it actually comes up on the screen like this and shows you you've got an update, but you can't tap it or do anything with it because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna to connect to Wi-Fi and then we're gonna look at it and we're gonna look at all of this right now. Mal's back talking Tesla. To see the enhancements made to my Tesla and how to update yours, please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help. Hello, I'm over here. Watch right now for Mal's Tesla update. Hi everyone, if it's your first time, nice to have you join us. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? The first time in history, look, they've actually removed 24.3. Now, I've never known that in my history. I've had it for two years, the car, and I've never had a software update. And then suddenly it's been removed as if it's never existed. Even on the Tesla Fi, like this, it originally started at 300, <laughs> 300, if only, 3,324. So I'm itching to take it out. The only difference I found with the new app that we've now got, there was a, an error. Look at this error come up. When I got the software updated, it said it's not synced and it didn't show the new update on the bottom there. It was still 24.3, but I all I did was just clear it off and then come back into it, and basically it found it and it was set and it was done. Um, come to the car and you can now see everything is as it, it should be um, with the removal of 24.3, gone. <laughs> Yeah, that was obviously some bad thing. So let's take it out on the road and let's try these testings of the auto parking because that was really a bugbear for me. I love auto parking and without it, it is something that I really want to make sure is working. So let's have a look at it and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so let's see this parking in here. Let's see if it can do it. Uh, we go slow. P, hit the P, reverse. Wow. Right, we're going to try it on the right side because as you know the right didn't work so let's line it up with the next car wow p's come on okay so we're going to press the p immediately it's there indicate press the start So conclusive proof that actually works. That's fixed. There's no issues with that whatsoever. The only thing we've got to do now is reverse into a space because as you know, that was a real problem. And we're going to test that one out just so that you don't have to. Okay, so we're going off to a car park now. I'm going to go to B&Q and we're going to try and uh, do some reverse parking testing so that we can actually see how this is now improved. But it's looking good so far. We've found three spaces and three times we went into it back forward and front ways and it found the space every single time. So that's really good. And now we're gonna go down to B and Q. Okay. Let's 
Yeah, Mark, a nice quiet back in space. It's a busy area, but we'll find a place. Let's try actually. Oh, so it's got Burger King. Is there space between two cars? There may be. Let's try that one first because that's probably going to be easier. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So, we're going over here. And we're going to park in that space. So let's have a look. Line up. Okay, so we found space. It's found the P. I'm going to press it. Shift into reverse. Straight away, press the P. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? It parked the car, put it in its place, and did a fantastic job. Which is what I've expected for the last few years. It was just that one problem with 24.3. We now got 24.4. Everything is fixed. I am a happy person. And I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. I'm pleased to say everything was good. And it was even nice to see it on the new app, um, which, you know, we've just got that. There will be a new app from me coming out. I'm going to do a... Oh, you don't know. It's taken me ages to get the B-roll, to get the... Oh, you don't know. When it's done, you'll just see it. But I tell you what, it's taken literally two days to get this working. And the problems I've had with it... Well, <laughs> I don't want to bore you. You just switch on and you say, Oh, Mel's done that video. What us creators have to do to get it to come to you? Honestly, it is so hard work sometimes especially this one i wanted to get it out and i had it i was all working on it this morning to get everything sorted for you and then an update is delivered on my plate and of course i have to try it for you don't i i mean you've got to make sure we especially i did that other video for you to show you how it didn't work and now it's all working everything is great thank you tesla for listening thank you to my loyal fans for watching and for any new fans that are subscribing Thank you so much. Competition will be coming up at some point. Listen to the end. I'll tell you exactly what you need to do to actually get into the, the running to get the prizes. Anyway, until the next one, I look forward to seeing you very soon. Enjoy your day, whatever you may be doing, and I'll catch up with you very shortly. I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching, and do tell us in the comments section that you subscribed, and we can then contact you if you're the winner when the prize is drawn. Quack, quack. Oops.